I got a bunch of stuff that I bought off of eBay as well as on whatnot and Amazon, things like that. Uh, the other half of that book haul that's from the warehouse, I'm going to go ahead and save that one for a little bit. I'm still editing it, it's taking forever. I might scrap it, we'll see. Okay, so I watched a couple of um, different YouTube uh, videos and honestly, I don't remember which ones they were right now. If I can find them and go back, I'll, I'll tag the person or I'll put the person here. Uh, so you can see it and then I'll put the link to their channel in the uh, description. I was looking for different uh, videos on zombie books. I was trying to find what zombie books are out there, uh, which ones people liked, uh, what was, you know, people's top three or four or five or ten or whatever. So one of the ones that was recommended was the Hater series. I think it's called the Hater series. I think that's the first one and it's by um, David Moody. And so this is one of those, All Roads End Here, by David Moody. And um, first one was, was Hater, I believe, and I think there's like five or six of those ones. So that's one of them. Dog Blood is another one, and I didn't know this was a hardcover with no dust jacket, um, but that's fine. If I really want to get a new copy, I'll get a new copy. Um, them or Us is one of them. Choke Hold is another. And there was a, two that I ordered off of like a Goodwill in Colorado or something. And they showed up and they were totally not even close to the books that I ordered. So I just wrote them and they finally wrote back today and said, Oh, sorry, wrong books. Just keep them. We'll refund you. And they refunded me. So another one that was recommended was Dust by Joan Francis Turner. And um, I had not heard of this one at all. And get all the stuff out of it. So there's Dust, has kind of a cool cover. Um, and it says, Dust brings new life to being dead. So um, I'm not, I don't remember exactly what all these um, like were about other than they had something to do with the undead or zombie type um, books. This one, I remember um, Rachel Beck at Shades of Orange had talked about this. She has a couple zombie video videos that she did. Um, I think this was like more zombie books. I think that was the one this one was on. And it's Apocalypse Z. And I believe it takes place in Spain, I think. And it's a translated novel. Manuel uh, Loriero. Loriero. And... Um, from what I've read on Goodreads and things like that, everybody says this is really a good zombie book because it's kind of different from the typical, you know, just set in USA, uh, you know, San Francisco or something like that where all the zombie books take place. And uh, it's it's um, quite enjoyable. It's written uh, with a good perspective and things like that. And I think there's three in this series, so I do have some of the other ones. Uh, this was another one. Um, I don't remember if this one had a series that it went with or if it was standalone, but Courtney Summers, this is not a test. So if you can't tell, I'm on a little bit of a zombie kick right now, reading zombie books and buying all the zombie books I can find. Um, I would like to do a top 10 kind of zombie books of all time. And I, I have a hard time reviewing or recommending books if I haven't read them. So for me to just do like a here's the top 10 zombie books of all time and then just quote what's like the top 10 on Goodreads doesn't, it doesn't really do it justice, I guess. I don't know if that's the right word, but I feel like I'm like doing a, a disservice by saying here, here's the top 10 zombie books. These are ranked on Goodreads, like big deal. You can go read that. I want to do a top 10 of books that I've read. So if you happen to, if you happen to kind of have the same, like taste that I do for books then you'll go oh okay cool then that one's really good I want to try it or if you're like I really don't like anything that Ryan reads so when he says I recommend this I usually won't read it and if he says he didn't like this I will read it then you'll know I'm not going to read that top 10 I'm going to read some other ones okay so uh that's Michael anyways this is not a test Courtney Summers I also, this isn't zombie related, but I did get Clown in a Cornfield 3. I pre-ordered it 
and it was sent like the day it came out it arrived it's like clown and cornfield 3 is revealed and then it's like it was at my door so uh it was shipped out i think the day before or something now i'm a little hesitant on this one so the first one i loved thought was super good the second one i thought fell prey to the old let's put every woke thing in there we can so that it'll reach all the 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 youth of today and be a big hit mm -hmm. and it really played into all that garbage and it made the book terrible and so um i'm hoping book three is better and goes back to the way book one was um and we can just kind of disregard book two you know because book one was really good i really enjoyed book one and i highly recommend clown the cornfield one so if you're into kind of like b slasher movie type books you know um that's that's a great one but i i would say don't even bother reading book two sorry it just is the way it is so i also picked up Paul Tremblay's Survivor Song. And I don't remember if this was a zombie one or not. Yes, it is. Okay, so um, it's a virus spread by saliva. So uh, this sounds like a zombie one to me. So that was another one I picked up for that zombie purpose. The Reapers Are the Angels. And I'm not sure why I got this one either. <laughs> uh, sometimes I just, uh, you know, Go on a little, a little kick. Um, the Bachman books, I picked up two copies of this. So I got two hardcover copies. Uh, both of them I got for a reasonable price and I needed to replace my paperback one. So um, I, and then when one of them arrived, it wasn't quite as good as this one. So this is the one I'm gonna keep. The other one is available on Whatnot, but I'm starting it at uh, oh no, actually I put it on eBay already. So never mind, it's on eBay. Um, I sold the paperback one on whatnot, uh, and that one already sold. And uh, this one is going in my collection because it's pretty good. It's pretty clean, dust jackets in good shape, and that one's staying with me. I'm trying to at some point have every Stephen King book in hardcover. That's my goal, and uh, I have maybe half of them in hardcover right now and the other half in paperback so I think I do own the majority of his works other than a couple there's a couple that were printed I think by Cemetery Dance that are fairly rare and I think it's like 200 bucks for volume one and 200 bucks for volume two so um, those are just gonna have to wait until either I find them or someday I have you know the ability to buy those um, just right now is not that time so I also got Halloween Fiend by C.B. Hunt and I think I was just browsing on Amazon and I found this one because I was looking for something else and this one popped up and so I went ahead and grabbed it I figured it'd be a great Halloween time read and why not so I have a bunch of stuff by Jonathan Mayberry and so this is one of the Jonathan Mayberry books and it's called Zombie CSU. And from what I understand, it's a little bit like, um, not World War Z, uh, zombie, zombie handbook guide one. The heck is the other one by Max Brooks? I can't remember the name of it. Anyways, um, so something a little similar to that where you're, uh, you know, you're looking at the, the details of, uh, you know history of zombie stuff and things like that so that's what I was told this one is sort of like sounds good to me I loved World War Z as well as the is it zombie survival guide does that sound right I can't remember the name of it right now but I I've read them both and I actually kind of was thinking I want to read them again because <laughs> they were super enjoyable and so um, anyways pick that one up by Mayberry I also picked up the End Games by T. Michael Martin. So this one was also recommended. I think it's YA, a little more YA, but I don't really care. YA books are great. So there's a lot of YA books I've read that I've really, really enjoyed. Not sure if it's full on zombie or not, but either way, I wanted to check it out. So 
All right, so another one by David Moody, and I believe this is the first in that series, Hater. And I think I'm missing one or two now. So for now, it's a good place to start. A couple book hauls ago, I had, I had bought the other two parts of the Rotten Ruin series that I was missing. And so I had the very... I had the very first one or the second one, I can't remember, but I bought two more, so I had the first three. Well, then I found the complete Rotten Ruin collection in a box set, and it has five of them, and I, I actually think there's more after this that weren't added to the box set, and so I now have duplicate copies of Flesh and Bone, Rotten Ruin, and Dust and Decay. So I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of those three, and I'll keep the box set, and then if there's more I need to buy after that, I will. Uh, but this is also by Jonathan Mayberry, and I heard, like I said, great things about Jonathan Mayberry, and I'm excited to get to these. I've heard that these are really, really, really good zombie books. So um, those those are high on my list. I will probably... I'll probably start the first one here maybe next week sometime. I should be done with uh two books by the end of the week so then i can start that and one more so um yeah that's on my list all right so on whatnot um i picked up a bunch of books from uh, an awesome seller uh wolf by night i may have mentioned one other time before but wolf by night has great auctions and also has um kind of regular auctions like at least at least i would say four a week, five a week, maybe even more. I don't know. Um, but pretty regular seller. And um, there is uh, several books that I got from him on a show. And so I got a bunch of signed books. Some of these I'm going to use uh, for the giveaway show. I wanted to pass along to um, other people signed books. And on that giveaway show, when we get to a thousand subs, if you haven't heard this 150,000 times already by me when we hit a thousand subs I'm going to do a giveaway show on whatnot there will be multiple signed books and other books as well but some of those I'm going to give away this one is by Janny Wirtz and his legacy Sorcerer's Legacy signed on the inside there also Walter John Williams Angel Station signed on the inside there there's the front cover Trial of Terra by Jack Williamson. I have a lot of Jack Williamson books and there's several that I want to read. They're all on my TBR. And so here's a Jack Williamson signed. So I'll probably do a Jack Williamson since I got a few Jack Williamson's. And another one, Jack Williamson signed. Another Janny Wirtz. Uh, this one signed also another Jack Williams CT Ship and CT Shock two of his well-known novels. This one is also signed. Wild Blood by Nancy Collins. Signed. Henry Kuttner, The Dark World. I don't know if I got this one from Wolf. Did I get this one from Wolf? Or is this another one? Uh, this one is not signed, so I don't think I got it from Wolf. Maybe I did, I don't know. But Henry Kuttner, Dark World. I might have just ordered that one on its own. Some of these got mixed up a little bit. Jenny Wirtz signed. Um, Marion Zimmer Bradley. Um, Souvenir of Monique. Also signed. Golden Blood, Jack Williamson signed. Pandora Effect, Jack Williamson signed. Marion Zimmer Bradley. Signed. Jack Williamson. Signed. <laughs> Walter John Williams. Signed. Another Jack Williamson. Signed. So those were all from uh, one show from Wolf by Night. And I also got this one, uh, The Mortal Immortals by Christabel. And Worlds Near and Far uh, with Terry Carr as the editor. And there is CM Cornbluth. Uh, Robert Silverberg, Fritz Leiber, Gene Wolfe, Terry Carr. So a lot of awesome authors in that one. Blood and Roses by Chelsea Quinn Yarbrough. By Wolf, By Night also. 
The Man Who Used the Universe by Alan Dean Foster. I don't think any of these hardcover ones were signed. Maybe they were. I don't know. Let's see. I don't think so, though. Psych. Yep, that one was signed. Alan Dean Foster. So that one's going to stay with me. This one I was super excited for. Look at that. How cool is that? Creatures from Beyond and uh, edited by Terry Carr. Nine stories of sci-fi and fantasy with Brian Aldiss, Henry Kuttner, Robert Silverberg, Clifford Simak, Ted Sturgeon, Donald Wolfheim. Man, that that one's awesome. This one's definitely for me. And I will, um, I know September's kind of, some people are doing like short, short story September. So I might read this one in September. I've been on a bit of a short story kick anyway. So uh, I may read that one. And then um, James Tiptree Jr., Up the Walls of the World. And this is Alice um, Sheldon. And pretty cool copy, hardcover. Um, those are all from Wolf by Night. I'm going to put a, a link to his next, one of his next shows. And I want to let you, know, you guys know about it real quick. Because it is um, a signed Sarah J. Mass uh, copy. And Sarah J. Mass's signature copies usually go for... I think if I remember right, they go from like 150 up or something like that. And he's starting it out for a buck on whatnot. So uh, who knows what it'll go for. And you guys should check it out. I'll put the link down below to his whatnot as well as my whatnot. And as well as a link for uh, uh, if you've never signed up for whatnot, you can click the link, sign up, and then get a free $15 um, credit. I also got a copy. This one I ordered is uh, Brian Keane's The Rising. And I have another copy for myself. And I actually just finished reading this one before this one arrived. And this one I got because it is signed also. So this one is signed actually twice. <laughs> and Brian Keane wrote, um, for Sue, signed twice for good luck. So it's signed in blue and signed in red. So. I'm, I'm guessing Sue had it signed and then took it to have him sign with a personalized name attached to it. So there's those last, but certainly not least, I got a lot on eBay from Brian G. Berry. And Brian, there's a, a Brian G. Berry lot that was on there and I've seen a couple other of his books floating around and they're all uh, like that, um, I don't know what you call these. I don't know if they're extremes or what, but they're they're just um, self-published with the crazy covers, and they're all like out of control idea. You know, like a Sharknado type story or something like that. So this one is, and there was a big lot of them, and uh, I got it for a reasonable price compared to what they are individually. So I was pretty stoked. Um, so this one is. The Abominable Snowman. I also got A Cursed Ground. Laundry Mat. What do you call these books? What, what would you call that? I don't know if they would just be considered extreme horror because that kind of seems, I don't know, seems a little bit different campy horror maybe I don't know so laundry mat and these are all from Brian G. Berry and there's some other ones I want now too Ice Beast reminds me of some of those ones I read for Christmas last year Jungle Rot Death Packs and Left Hand Paths oh this one's from John Wayne Communale I I thought they were all Brian Berry. So this one's someone different. Um, Brian's Birthday Bloodbath. With a clown, of course. Someone tell me what these are called. What would you call these books? Snow Shark? I like that. Like Sand Sharks, the movie. Did you guys ever see that one? Uh, just total I just think of them as like b-movie stuff ogre the sleepover massacre
blood lanes. This is these are like silly to me. So I don't think of these as like extreme horror. That's just like silly B movie type stories. I don't know. Can't think of anything else. And no lives left. That one looks great. This will probably be the first one I do. <laughs> so that was it. That was all my uh, recent book hauls. I'll I'll link the uh, whatnots down below. Thanks for being a part of this channel community and i really appreciate you guys being here and thanks for watching catch you on the next one